We're here at the fabulous Grand Hotel in the centre of Hartlepool in Victoria Ward where on Thursday the 16th of November there'll be a by-election. Voter turnout hasn't really been very good in the town um, for the past few years. So the whole idea of doing a candidate interview was to motivate, inspire the electorate to get out and vote by showing them the candidates, their passions, what they stand for, uh, and just giving them a little bit more knowledge uh, when they go to cast their ballot. In the Seton by-election uh, last month, I'm very pleased to say that uh, the candidate interviews video that we did had over 800 views. We hope to do the same again in the Victoria Ward and we want to thank the candidates that have agreed to attend uh, and given their time. However, as you'll see, it didn't quite go as we planned. Before I introduce myself, I'd like to thank you for the opportunity to address the people of Victoria Ward and to answer directly the questions that are important to them. Although I've canvassed extensively, I've only reached a small proportion of the electorate. Hopefully this will be viewed by the people of Victoria Ward and this could help them to make a more informed decision as to who they trust and want to represent them and who will speak on their behalf within Hartlepool Council. After all, it's difficult to make such an important decision based just on paperwork pushed through your door. I believe that anyone seeking election should be willing to be questioned by the voters and should welcome the chance to show that they can speak publicly and communicate well. After all, this will be a significant part of their role as a councillor if they're elected. I'm Jackie Cummins and was born and raised in Hartlepool and I have lived in or near the town centre most of my life and as such I do care about the town and its people. I have a varied work history spanning 36 years and I've been both an employee and an employer. All my work has involved working with the public at all levels and I'd like to think that my life has given me a broad understanding of people and of life. I'm currently a carer and this has given me an insight into the difficulties faced and issues that uh, vulnerable people face. Also, uh, the, the issues that are faced by those who care for others. I'm standing for election as a UKIP councillor as I believe in Brexit and in democracy. It's important to me for us to be subject to laws made and decided on by people in the United Kingdom that we've elected and chosen rather than having laws imposed on us by unelected faceless people at the EU that we don't know and didn't choose. There are currently six UKIP councillors on the Hartlepool Borough Council and UKIP are the main opposition to the Labour Party in Hartlepool. Due to this, they're entitled to a significant representation on the various committees that decide local policies. Smaller parties in Hartlepool are not able to offer this. We cannot stand by and allow open drug sale or use to go unchallenged. What kind of message does this send to our children? It's no good educating children about the dangers of drugs at school if they see the sale, purchase and use of drugs being imposed on their whole community. We run a very high risk of our children turning to drugs if they see drug use being accepted and even normalised. We must take action. Both selling drugs and taking drugs is a crime. The first authority to deal with it must be the police. 
It's crucial that they're made aware of the fact so they can deal with the problem at source. After all, if police tackle drug dealing at source, it could result in far less overall crime and antisocial behaviour and reduce their total workload. We need to make sure that the police give this matter the priority it needs and deserves. The council and I should therefore liaise with the police to make sure they're doing everything they can. Next, I will become involved with Safer Hartlepool Partnership as they aim to reduce crime and the harm caused by drug abuse and also aim to help build safer communities. This organisation also works nationally with an organisation called Balance. Uh, they go to schools and colleges and they raise awareness of drug abuse and the problems it causes and they also offer improved access to early and preventative treatment for those who are already affected. In addition, the Council has various powers it can use in respect of antisocial behaviour. On behalf of the residents of Victoria Ward, I would need to know if these powers are being fully used. If drug dealing is taking place in Council houses, the Council may also have other powers it can use. We need to take our streets back and get serious about serious crime. There are many challenges in Victoria Ward and whilst I've been out campaigning, I've seen and heard for myself the wide-ranging housing problems that affect the residents, so I've chosen to focus on this topic. Having a roof over your head is a basic human need and not having a home can affect every aspect of yours and your family's lives, including your job prospects and both your physical and mental health. While I've been talking to residents, there are a few things that have become clear. Firstly, there doesn't seem much prospect of getting a council house. Council houses are the best possible option. They offer reasonable rents and the properties are well maintained and of a reasonable standard. Also, crucially, you can stay in a council house for as, as long as you want. Many of these advantages have to be sacrificed if you're forced to resort to private rented accommodation. And residents tell me they're struggling with the high levels of rent and can't always get repairs, to do, uh, repairs done. Also, the landlord can ask you to leave any time they want if they want access to that property. So the second part of the question is, what would I do to deal with this? And in order to decide what I want to do, I need to ask some questions. Firstly, I want to know why we've stopped building council houses um, because demand is increasing. I want to know the council has actually sold off properties. Where's that money gone to and why hasn't it been used to build more homes? I also think the local authority should police private rented properties more. Landlords at the moment are required to undertake annual gas and electric safety checks and I think that possibly that could be extended to have an independent annual check that means that the property can be checked to make sure it meets all acceptable standards. Also, Hartlepool has a high level of unoccupied property. What steps, if any, are being taken to see if these properties can be acquired or adapted and used to help the, uh, solve the housing problem? I need to get the answer to those questions before we can decide how to move forward. If I'm elected, I'll look to hit the ground running. While I've been out canvassing, I've been made aware of many issues from residents and I'd like to prioritise these and start straight away. All wards have three councillors, so I will contact the two current councillors for Victoria Ward and ask them what actions, if any, they've taken um, to deal with any of the issues that I want to deal with. Um, and that's to avoid duplicating work. I'd hope that we could all work together for the benefit of the residents of Victoria Ward. After all, we've all been chosen to represent them and to act on their behalf. 
I've already made inquiries about the council committees I think are crucial for me to sit on in order for me to make the necessary improvements in Victoria Ward. Obviously you can't just sit on any committee you want, but I do have an interest in sitting on the Neighbourhood Services Committee. Um, they deal with all the neighbourhood issues, including antisocial behaviour, and also on the Planning Committee, which I hope will allow me to have input on future development. Needless to say, I consider more housing, particularly council housing, to be crucial to the quality of life for the residents of Hartlepool and for Victoria Ward in particular. I also need to become involved in the Safer Hartlepool Partnership to properly deal with the drug problems in Victoria Ward. Most importantly though, I need to let the residents of Victoria Ward know that I'm available to them that they, if they need me and I'll hold surgeries so that they know when and where they can meet with me. Obviously, I can also be reached on the telephone and email if they would prefer. Thank you.